Hi, Barry here, and uh, in this blog post, I decided also to make a video for you. And the reason I'm doing that is I do want to clear up a particular misconception that is out there regarding Product Dino. And um, what I'm going to do is, first of all, go through one of the reasons why I think Product Dino is beneficial for people. But then I'm going to address that concern. And it's something that I see popping up in different Facebook groups. And it's something that really needs to be addressed. It's like an elephant in the room, if you like. So first of all, you can see uh, here on the screen, I've got the sales page loaded up with Product Dino. And you know you can read this for yourself. There's lots of, 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 of amazing benefits that you've got with Product Dino. It basically does everything that a WordPress plugin will do. In fact, now they even have their own WordPress plugin that integrates with the product I know your main hub. So you can still use WordPress with a WordPress plugin if you want to. Uh, in fact, there's a couple of ways of using WordPress with product I know, and it means that you can control everything from that one central place. Uh, but before I go into some of these features and benefits, I do want to make one point, and that is, you know, this system that Product Dino put together, brilliant as it is, only is a, of any value to you if you actually use it, if you actually put products in there, collections in there, and actually connect it up with something, with a sales page, with a buy button, um, with a, a payment processor and actually use it. If you if you're not going to use it ever, then you know why have it? It's it's just a, a pointless thing. So the way I look at things is this: the way this is the way I, I do my business. And if I come across something which I can see is going to make my life easier, and um, Product Dino being one of those, an example of that, shall we say? Uh, and I invest money into it and I buy it, then I damn well make sure that within the next 30 days, I've used it enough to get more than that investment back. So I don't just buy stuff and then just leave it somewhere. I buy it and then I make it profitable for me. I make it work for my business. And that's a good attitude to have. If you put money into something, make sure that you, you get the value of that out within the first 30 days. Okay, so if you're going to grab hold of this, what I'd like to see you do is actually delve into it. Don't put it to one side, delve into it. It's not hard to figure out. It's a very, very simple way of, of putting a product delivery system together and actually use it. Put a product in there and actually use it. Okay, so it could be a PLR product. You know, if you haven't got a product ready, rejig and repurpose a PLR product. But do something, deliver something. Okay, so uh, with that having been said, um, let's have a look at the um, some of the main things here, and then I'm going to cover that elephant in the room. Um, you know, all of these are great stuff. You, you've got unlimited clients that go in there. That you're not limited to how many people you can have in your system, um, downloads, how many um, supportive files and things like that that are downloaded, unlimited products, uh, integration we're gonna talk about in a minute, future-proof platform, that they are developing this, but they are working on it all the time and bringing new features and tweaks to it uh, and have done over the last 18 months. And that's something I wanna talk about in a minute. Um, you've got great user management now. They've even put in there a business intelligence system and that allows you to at a glance see all of the activity from different payment processes uh, regarding the products that you have set up in product dino that you're selling in product dino and um so that that's pretty good um let me go down. Here's something that's interesting. You, you can manage the members really easily. So you can find members really easy. If, if somebody says, I think I don't think I've got access to a particular product I need access to, you can go find them and then you can actually log into them. So a little button there. If you click that, you log in as that person. So you can actually see what access they've got uh, by doing that. 
and it's easy to edit a member okay so if somebody said well you know can you change my password because i don't really want to do it myself then you can go in and do it for them it's very very simple or you, if you wanted to upgrade a member manually you know if you if somebody has done something and you wanted to reward them by giving them a an upgrade to another product within a collection you can go in and you can edit what products they have access to uh, very very quickly and easily it takes seconds um, you can add customers manually uh, you can have customers expire for example if you wanted to set up a JV access for a site but you only really wanted that um, access for everybody until the day after the launch for example and you wanted to expire because you know it has been known that people uh, not top affiliates but some people that have JV access uh, who are probably fairly new will share it with people so you want that to expire you can have it expire which is cool, cool. Um, you've got all sorts of stuff now this is what I want to talk about here look um, integrations this is great. All of these, these, how many other there? There are um, 12 different payment processors there covering everything Stripe, PayPal, JVZoo, ClickBank, Warrior Forum, Warrior Forum, Warrior Plus, Zaxa, Thrivecart, PayKickstart, Soundcart, Paddle, ClickBank. You know, every, every major affiliate and uh, shopping cart platform are represented here. And the, this is the great thing. This is the cool thing about that. You can have a product set up in in um, in your product dyno account, and I've got I've got this happening right. And I've got a product in there, and the product I'm talking about is the Rogers Report. Now that product is set up on Thrivecart, which is the main Rogers Report payment gateway, but it's also set up on Warrior Plus as upsells from other product that I, I list on there so as, as a as an oto if you like as an upsell it's on there it's the same product in thrive car it's just two different feeds if you like into it and it works perfectly well so if somebody buys through thrive Cart or somebody buys through warrior plus it doesn't matter they're going to get access to exactly the same thing exactly the same way um and this works with zero issues similarly clickbank you know, I have several products which I have on Thrivecart and ClickBank. Okay, so if somebody wants to promote the ClickBank one, or if I want to particularly uh, push the ClickBank one, then that's fine. They're going to get membership to the same product. You can sell on multiple platforms, and that's really quite useful because you've got a whole bunch of different people. Some people don't like, for whatever reason, I don't quite understand this, but some people don't like to promote say warrior plus links they only want to promote jvzoo links fine list it on jvzoo for those people it doesn't really matter you can just bung it on there um similarly you know if you wanted to put it on the warrior forum you could use their own warrior forum payment system it doesn't matter it's all going through to the same product on product diner so you don't have to create a landing page or a uh, some kind of membership system for each of these listings. It's all done through the one. Um, everything is protected with dual, layers, dual, dual layer security, and you get a free SSS, SSL, sorry, certificate as well. Um, let me see what's next. Email and autoresponder integrations. If you don't um, have integration at the source, at, you know, in these places then you can integrate uh, at the actual uh, level in product dyno so i tend to um, you i tend to get people on my list in these places mainly because i use thrivecart and it has lots of rules so i can i can take people off one list and onto another and i can tag people and there's a lot more rules that is actually coming into product dyno as well where they'll be you'll be able to tag and do all sorts of stuff in you know when people join uh, a particular product or collection so there's all of these integrations if you wanted to use them and the great thing is with this you can add as many of these accounts as you want so for example i do a lot of work with val wilson and for the products that we jointly sell we have a a different 
get response account okay so um that is in, integrated in my product dyno it's also integrated in val's product dyno as well as well as my own get response account so you can have as many of these accounts listed in there as you wish and that's the same as well for all of these you can have several clickbank accounts in there you can have several thrivecart accounts in there it's up to you um this is cool uh, you you can send the transactional emails you know the the welcome email with login credentials and all that kind of stuff you can use product dino's own um mailing smtp system or you can add in your own you can add in sendgrid spark post amazon mailjet or, or even your own um your own email uh system according to your domain name um you can also add other ones in as well just by getting the username and password and everything else so uh, i've got postmarket as well i use sendgrid and postmarket for my transactional emails because i find that they go into the inbox more readily than if they were sent by my own e uh, my own domain um so that's what I use, and it, it tends to work, I'd say, 99% of the time. Um, no email system is perfect, and you will get the occasional one going to spam, even if you use SendGrid or one of these. But generally speaking, it's really smooth. It's a lot smoother than when I was using my own domain name in WordPress plugins. And you've got webhooks in there. Now, the webhook thing, you don't have to just use Zapier for this. There's loads of ways that you can add webhooks in. Um, you also can get a webhook from um, Product Dino to use in other places too. But let me just talk about one use of a webhook that I have, and that is uh, I've got a, an account at Provely, which puts those little social proof notifications I use on some of my sales pages. And the problem with that is if you're selling through multiple um, product gateways, then you have to put their code into all these different product gateways and trust that it's always going to work. So rather than doing that, what I do is just put their Provely webhook into Product Dino for that particular product, and boom, uh, all of the people are added to my to that Provely uh, system. Um, so it, it it works like a dream. So there's also that in there as well. So let me now tell you about the elephant in the room the elephant in the room as far as i can tell with a lot of people with product i know they say yes it's great but it's kind of ugly when you get inside of a membership area of product i know it they haven't got really good templates they haven't got really good styling and I would say right at the beginning of um, Product Dino's life, people did have a bit of a point there. However, they are missing something big, right? And the thing that they're missing is that Product Dino allows you to use its internal pages and internal templates to deliver your memberships. But also, it you have the choice of protecting external pages as well. There is a system in Product Dino that allows you to protect any page, any page that you can put a line of code on. I'm going to just stop the video for a moment and show you how that works. So here I am in a test product in my Product Dino account, and this is in the domain and access area. Okay, so you can set your own domain name here. You can, if you've got uh, a domain name, let's say, uh, you know, uh, yourmembers.com, you can put members, you can create a domain name, members.yourmembers.com, and add on domain, and you can enable it to, in here. So you, you can have it so as it's, you don't, you're not using these product dyno um, domain, uh, uh, URLs you are using your own domain URL. Okay, but let me let me have a look, let me show you this, okay? So, access settings, okay? You can ex enable external content. If you click this, right, you put the first page of whatever it is that you're, you, you've got. So let's say you've, 
uh, for example, let's say you picked up uh, a PLR product and that product comes with a download page that's already made for you. And you think, well, I don't really want to have to redo this download page. Um, I just want it protected. So what you do is you upload that to your um, hosting and you put your, the domain in here and then you get this little bit of code and you put it in the head section of that HTML page. And then that is completely, um, that then is completely protected. It's really, really well protected as well. I've had, I know somebody that is a, a coder that tried to defeat that and hack, hack around it and couldn't do it. So it, it is really good protection. So you can protect any page. It doesn't have to be one styled inside a product dyno. So if you don't like the styling options in product dyno, you don't have to use them. You can use external pages and, or you can do a hybrid. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to show you one or two of my products. First of all, uh, this is a product that I've got with Val Wilson called Everything Rebrandable. It's a monthly um, membership site. Now, this has been going for a while. This is going long before Product Dino, and we used to use on here a uh, WordPress plugin. And for one reason or another, we wanted to pull this into Product Dino instead and use Product Dino instead. And it was a great decision because we don't get half the number of support tickets about access that we used to get with the, with the WordPress plugin. So, but this is a WordPress site. This whole thing, these are all posts on here. And this is a WordPress site. Now this is not protected using Product Dino's WordPress plugin. This is protected using a, there's a plugin called um, Code Inserter or something like Add Inserter. And it allows you to put a little bit of code on top of posts in a WordPress site, and it will do it across all of the posts. So all I had to do was take that bit of code from Product Dino that you saw um, here, that, that code, and I just put it into that plugin, and it protects all these posts. Okay, so all of this is protected via um, Product Dino externally. This is a WordPress site. Um, here's a hybrid one. This is um, a collection I've got because you can put products into a collection. Now the cool thing about this is, if somebody buys, you see, this is I've logged in as somebody here, and they've bought that, 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 and that product. Okay, and there's an access here, but there, I've added since they bought those three more products. So when they come in to access it, they'll see these other products, and if they're curious, they'll be able to go and have a look at them because these will lead to the sales pages for those products. But here's the most important thing here. This is a hybrid. So I've got the collection here, but all of the individual pages I wanted to have um, on Convertry. So if I click on access here, I get this page is built on Convertry. So people can get their product here and they can sign up for a webinar here. So this is basically a hybrid i've got the collection here in product dino but the individual download pages are all on convertry um, now let's have a look at one that i've got internally and this is the old style system of uh, product dino and it's you know this is the bit that people think is ugly i don't think it's particularly ugly i think it's fine this is the rogers report members area and there's the bonuses here there's the affiliate center um, there's a, an advert here basically for this product and then if you click on enter you go through to the Rogers report download area um, everything's taking a little bit of time to load because I think I'm using many resources so here we are and this is the download area so it's very simple um, there's the download link for that edition there's the download link for that edition and then there's some adverts on the bottom of the page. This actually is a bit of code. These pages, by the way, you can build up with text, videos, um, code snippets. So this this is actually power ads up. This this puts random uh, number of nine ads on a page 
and um, that's all controlled by Power Adds Up. That's just a little bit of code that I put on the page, and um, that is uh, working absolutely fine. I've got other other ones I'll show you in a second. Uh, in fact, I'll show you now. This is Online Funnel Mastery, uh, one of my later products, and this is all built on the newer um, templates in Product Dino. Now, they have emulated, and I was one of the people that was pushing for this, because they, they do listen. There are Facebook groups, and and you can email them with suggestions and feature requests. And one of the things I was pushing for was a really nice template, which kind of looked like the ClickFunnels template, where it's for course delivery. Um, and I, I thought that it actually looked fantastic, and I, I wanted something them to do that in product I know in fact I ended up with one of my products trying to emulate it in convertry and I did a pretty good job and that's in here as well if I pause the video I could show you that for a second so this is a uh, complete PLR mastery version 2 and this I used I, I wanted to get this look and feel of a site which I'd seen in uh, click funnels and this is this is my uh, approximation of it. Um, section one, if I click on section two, section four. I had to do this in different pages because that was the way it all worked. Okay, so basically, um, I built this in. It, this is external content. It's built using Convertry uh, to approximate what I wanted. Now, in Online Funnel Mastery, they've now put a template in uh, that, what, that does this job. So if I go into here, this is the template that uh, we have for um, Inside Product Dino. And this is the welcome page. And you can see all of the different panels down here correspond to these. So let's go into one of these. See how instant it is? Um, I can have accordion on here. I can have other, other links on here if I wanted to. But I just wanted each module to be separate. These are the download uh, things that you, that, you know, the uh, supported files download. All of this is just done inside Product Dino. And I think that this looks absolutely great. Um, you know, people can go on their account here, they can go on home, uh, they can go back to the panel. And I wanted to show you this as well. Okay, so basically it uh, takes a little bit of time to load up because I'm using so much of my resources here. Uh, the other thing is you can you can personalize everything. So when people log in somewhere, you know, you can put their first name. That That's automatically done by the system. So this is um, software. Okay, so we've got instructions here. And then at the bottom, there's the software that appears. Um, all these sidebars, of course, you can put whatever you want in. So this 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 is a bit of code in here, which is software, which is great. So you can deliver all sorts of stuff inside of Product Dino. And I'm sure you'll agree that this um, looks pretty damn good. Looks pretty damn good. Um, so I think when people say, well, you know, I looked at Product Dino, but I think it looked rubbish. Well, there's no need for it to look rubbish. You can use some of the new templates inside of the system, which look fantastic. Or you can, if you don't like that, if you don't like those templates, you don't have to use them. You can basically protect pretty much any site that you can put a line of code on. Uh, and as I mentioned earlier, there's even now a WordPress plugin as well. If you don't want to protect uh, posts, if you just want to protect pages and make it easier, you can use a WordPress plugin that automatically uh, does the job for you rather than having to use a, a separate plugin to put code on the top of pages. Um, so hopefully that will clear up that misconception that people have about Product Dino. Now, as I mentioned yesterday, there is a special deal on with Product Dino at the moment. 
and if you click the button below this at the end of this post it will take you to the sales page and on the checkout page if you put in uh, the uh, code expert you'll see the price is cut in half for a yearly license now you also get the option after you've bought your yearly license which is a little bit cheeky but you also get the option to upgrade to a lifetime account and that means that you don't have to pay again if you're planning on using product dyno for uh, more than three years then definitely that will save you some money but some people prefer to pay uh, on an ongoing basis some people prefer a lifetime deal it's really up to you and it's up to your budget but certainly once you get the discount for the yearly price even if you just stick at that and just pay that every year it's nothing it's peanuts it's absolutely nothing and you get loads of bonuses thrown in as well but it's absolutely peanuts for what you're getting um, it really is less less than ten dollars a month which is remarkable so I'm going to end this video now and uh, hopefully you, you see some value in product dyno it's revolutionized the way I do business and there's so much more to tell you about and so what I will probably do is do another post on this blog tomorrow so you can get a little bit more insight to the great cool things that product dyno can do for you so with that thanks for watching bye for now